came back again. Um, I got a brilliant response from the previous four episodes I'd created. And uh, I actually realised I'd missed out on a couple of spots which I feel are important to me. And I did say I'd pop into Butter Slip, which I uh, inadvertently forgot. So uh, here we are here. This is one of the medieval lanes or little slipways which runs parallel to Market Slip. And it takes you from High Street to St. Kieran Street. And uh, I think most of you are familiar with this, but uh, it's a quaint spot for those of you who uh, want to come and visit Kilkenny, check it out for yourselves. And uh, it ends up at the bottom. It's St. Kieran Street there at the bottom. And there's a bit of controversy about these railings when they were set up a couple of years back, but so I think almost everyone's forgotten about them now. And at the bottom there, your favourite store, Dunn's Stores. the courthouse which is also known as Grace's Castle there's a bit of sunlight there catching the top of it there this is all uh, freshly rebuilt uh, the front section anyway there used to be a little bit of a garden a few years ago I think they uh, completed that around uh, 2012 or 2013 it doesn't seem to be as much traffic on the streets compared to last week so that's a good thing I say and right in front of us there is the medieval Roth house uh, I don't know a great deal about it but I'll let you uh, check it out for yourself you can google it and that's how you spell it there on the sign and right opposite to it you have the Smithix experience and that's uh, only a few years old too and tells you about uh, the Smithix pint the, the ale the origins of it which I believe is Kilkenny of course and look at the Georgian or Edwardian architecture. The doors are unique as well. As we walk down Parliament Street, another well-known Italian restaurant, the Italian connection there. That's doors are shut. And fair dues to them because uh, in their home they have a couple of my travel photographs on their wall, I believe.